Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and today's video is what's in my daughter's Easter basket. My daughter is about five and a half. She will be six in July. And this video is just showing you what I got her for Easter. I know everyone celebrates Easter a little bit differently. Some will buy less, some will buy more. Um, and this is just what works for us. Um, my daughter does know that these presents come from us and not the Easter Bunny. Um, the Easter Bunny drops off eggs in the front yard and she collects those in the morning. So this is a present from us for Easter. That's a lot of blabbing. Let's just show you what I got her. So I do have a couple of things that don't actually fit in the basket. Uh, the first couple of things being some dresses and they're actually not in yet but I found H&M had a few different dresses. Uh, it was like two different styles and then multiple patterns for $4.99 and my little girl loves dresses. All of the ones that she already has, um, majority of them are getting really short on her. So I thought these would be, this would be a great time to get them. We live in the South. It is already warm majority of the time. The weather's been a little up and down, but uh, it's definitely not too early to wear little dresses, even like sleeveless dresses. Um, so I picked up a couple of those. I will try to leave a picture or two on the screen, but those are coming in. Those will be part of her Easter. And then next I have this right here. Um, if you don't know what this is, her leg goes in here and she kind of like skips it around. It's called a uh, skip jump. And it actually, I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah, you can kind of see not that great but it lights up and i loved these as a kid i think that she's old enough to kind of start learning how to play around with it i think it'll be really fun so i'm excited to do this growing up i always got outdoor type stuff for easter and that was kind of my plan this year when i picked this up and then my plan changed but that's okay um for me growing up i always got like beach toys um swimsuits, beach towels, stuff like that. But honestly, my little girl just did not need any of those things this year. So this is actually her only outside item. Next for things that are gonna be outside the basket, I got this little LOL mini sweets. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is like leftover from Valentine's Day because I saw it on sale at the dollar store. If you would have seen my Valentine's Day video, then you would know that my little girl loves LOL surprises and these types of surprise things, but I don't love to buy those types of things. So um, holidays, basket times, anything like that, I always try to throw one in there. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is left over from Valentine's Day. It's like candy themed, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I think she'll really enjoy this. She's never had one in this type of tube, so hopefully it's um, all fun. And the last, the last two items for outside the basket are some peeps and a small chocolate bunny. Um, I don't buy a huge chocolate bunny because I have family members that always give chocolate bunnies um, and I try to kind of talk them into getting small ones too because last year, I wanna say we had chocolate bunnies like so six months later. Um, so I usually try to get something little and this year I found this little dove one. Now for the Easter basket itself, I'm just gonna kind of pull a few things out at random and show you guys. First, I have four plastic eggs. These little eggs right here are uh, Disney themed. There's an Encanto and a princess one. Um, these are pre-filled eggs. I think they have like little sweet tart type candies inside. We purchased these in different themes previous years. The candy is okay, um, but we bought these um, for an Easter egg hunt and I saved a couple for Sophia's basket because she really loves Disney and princesses and Encanto. So it just worked well. Next we have these two little flower eggs. I'm gonna open one because they're both pretty much the same thing and that is just uh, an Easter theme stamp. So this one is bunny feet. And then, and then this little bunny eraser eggs. Um, well, these eggs, the stamp and the eraser all come from Dollar Tree. 
and then the princess theme eggs come from five below but i've seen those like pre-filled theme eggs at multiple different stores before next is this egg right here to me it kind of looks like a mermaid egg but i don't know it kind of almost reminds me of like a dragon egg too from like a cartoon or something it has little scales on it this is just filled with little stickers so we have bell right here and then some lol stickers again this comes from the dollar tree sophia saw these stickers um, and i purchased they come in like full sheets and uh, we cut up a few and i put them in some easter eggs for a family easter egg hunt and then i saved quite a few um, for her and i put them in this egg the next two eggs are absolutely adorable i actually saw these today and just had to grab them um look at these these are little rainbow eggs so sorry the mermaid dragon scale egg comes from dollar tree along with the stickers these two right here come from walmart and again similar things in each i'll just open one so in the egg i just have these little miniature rainbow crayons super fun the other one has one crayon with extra stickers because there was three different color crayons next i have these two right here this is gooey bath slime soap from crayola this comes from bullseye's playground at target we had a pink one a few weeks ago and sophia really enjoyed it so i grabbed two more she loves bath time she plays with barbies and a barbie pool and all these things in the bathtub she always always wants soap bath bombs all those types of things so for easter or any type of basket time i don't know like gifting time um bath things are usually one of my go-to items so i got these two right here next for the bath we have these two gorgeous bath bombs this is a little easter bunny called mr peepers and this is a, just a unicorn um these are made locally we discovered them a few years ago at a craft show and their products are really nice we always enjoy them uh it's not a shop or anything they just kind of usually do things around holidays um i'm not sure that they consistently produce products i'm a part of their facebook group um, but i will leave some information on them down below because i really enjoy their things we have a little unicorn notebook with a small pen she's really into like taking notes or writing receipts and things like that in play so this is the perfect size to fit in her little cash register area and i love the small miniature pen to go with it she's really gonna enjoy this this thing was two dollars i found that at a local store i'll try to link it down below we have some candies these are marshmallow caramel candies you guys this is some of the softest caramels i've ever had uh, it comes in a package i just pulled a few loose ones out so like i said this is the marshmallow caramel they have your regular like sea salt and loads of flavors but this is from the dallas caramel company and the same local store that i got the notepad from carries these caramels so good i'll leave it linked down below if you enjoy caramels you have to check this out so soft more sweets we have these stuffed puffed filled marshmallows um so i know these like filled marshmallows are pretty popular i feel like i see them for all the holidays uh these are just shaped like little easter eggs it's a two pack so i grabbed one of these a little play-doh kitchen ice cream truck I believe i got this at dollar general um it comes with two play-dohs and this is a little ice cream truck and it shows you a few ways that you can use it right here we love play-doh we love play-doh toys i think this is super cute to add she's always asking for play-doh things and some of her play-doh is getting a little outdated so a couple of new colors will be piggy paint this is some piggy paint nail polish this is some neon colors of course, uh, like most five-year-old, six-year-old painting nails is so fun. Um, and this is neon colors. These are little mini bottles. I thought they would be great to add to her collection already. This also comes from the same place uh, as the caramels and the notepad. The store is called South Coast Baby Company, but I will link their information down below. Same store, I got these Happy Hippo mini bath bombs and they're called well it's the unicorn poop mixture they smell like 
candy they smell so good um and i thought this was really fun mini bath bombs especially for her age i almost picked some up for myself and i think i might they had a few different mixes so like i said this is the unicorn poop mix it is cruelty free um it's made in canada let's see it's made in canada 100 percent vegan cruelty free and over 98 percent natural um smells absolutely amazing they had a few other products as well i'm just trying to kind of look on the back they had a few other bath products that i think i might try but i think this will be a huge hit same store i just saw this cute little pen there's some like sparkles inside um who doesn't love a fun pen r2 because i got another um we have a like rainbow pen that's similar to this it's Christmas I think um, but it doesn't have this many colors and it just we've been having it for a while some of the colors don't work that well so I thought this one was really cute from Senso's it's a scented rainbow pin I think that'll be fun and it was one dollar at Walmart got some peeps cotton candy because you know cotton candy and peeps now for the last two items after my camera has died on me twice uh we have these pastel m&ms with the little bunny ears super cute um we love pastel colors so i just thought these were fun to pick up and then the last item is also from south coast baby company and this is a paint by stickers kids uh again unicorn theme if you can't tell sophia likes unicorns right now uh, we found something really similar to this at the Dollar Tree. It's like Disney princesses. It's a lot smaller, uh, but she really enjoyed it. And she told me if I ever see it again anywhere else, any other kind of like theme, that she would really like that. So uh, I kind of just found this by accident while I was at South Coast Baby Company. And I grabbed this one. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you. Let's see. So you have your unicorn here with numbers on the page. Now, um, this unicorn right here goes up, I don't know, somewhere in the 60s. I'm not sure where it ends. So to keep that in mind, uh, depending on your child, they may need some assistance. But then you would go towards the back uh, and find the page that it goes with and then all the little pieces are numbered to where they go and it tells you what page it is right here at the top so as you can see they all have something different um and i just think that this would be really fun i already know sophia enjoys these types of things this one has a few more pages uh and um higher numbers i guess than the other one so i think she'll enjoy this but yeah, so that's it. That's everything that Sophia is getting for Easter from me and my husband. Um, for Easter Bunny, we do something a little different. I'm not sure uh, how many of you do this, but someone I know locally does a fundraiser every year where her and her oldest daughter raise money for uh, different school events. And they come in the egg yard the night before. They put out eggs with a little note from the Easter Bunny and a small basket. And you just kind of go collect the eggs. They have little trinkets. You can get trinkets or candy. We do the trinkets typically. Um, and it's really fun. We've done it for the past few years. And that's what the Easter Bunny does at our house. Um, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know this is kind of last minute, so shipping might not work for all of you, but I will leave um, a few things linked down below, like from South Coast Baby Company and maybe the one thing from Amazon. But besides that, everything is Walmart and Dollar Tree, so if you have one locally, you should be able to find most of it. Um, and I will see you guys next time.